Hey, I hope everyone's doing well. In this video, I wanted to show how to use the electric branding irons I sell with the brands that I make. Before getting started, a few things you should know is the brand will get very hot and stay hot for a while. So just take that into account while you're heating it up and handling it. While heating it up, make sure that the brand is pointed up and the handle is point it down so that the handle can stay as cool as possible. Also while heating it up, make sure the electric iron is on a surface that does not burn. Don't let it heat up on a wooden table like I have shown here. Heat will travel into the stand and burn the table. The initial heat for these branding irons usually takes somewhere around 20 minutes to 45 minutes to get fully heated up. And then after that you can just rapid fire it as much as you want. If you have a lot of things to burn, you may need to wear gloves by the end of it because the handle will get hot. While branding is geared more towards woodworking, you can also burn cardboard for your shipping boxes, leather, cowhide, food, and pretty much whatever you want to an extent. The electric irons that I sell will vary aesthetically over time just based on what's available to me at wholesale price. But right now these are what they look like. The 200 watt and the 300 watt is on the right. And the 300 watt is generally geared more towards larger branding irons. Usually 2 by 3 or 6 square inches or larger. Just because it heats up hotter and it gets hotter quicker. If you have some burnout beyond the features of your design after you brand it. Then you can take some light grit sandpaper and clean that up so it leaves it looking crisp. All in all, the electric iron makes branding more consistent and convenient. You don't have to worry about trying to get the right heat with a torch. You just plug it in and let it go. If you still have problems with excessive burnout or you're trying to brand something that's easily burned like leather, then I would recommend getting a rheostat to control the temperature of the branding iron. And the links for those will be in the listing descriptions of the listing pages for the branding irons. Also, don't forget to clean the face of your brand with the supplied brass brush. Just lightly brush the face of the brand and get all the residue off that was left from the material. I think that's all I have for now, but if you have any questions, send me an email. It's shown in the video description below, and thanks for watching.